Good afternoon, my name is Commander Craig Liddy, originally from House Springs, Missouri. I'm the commanding officer of PCU South Dakota, and uh, this is my 26th year in the Navy, and we're currently underway on board PCU South Dakota. So before I joined the Navy, uh, I was pretty much an average, average American kid, uh, interested in sports, and uh, did college for a little while, and uh, didn't really have a purpose for that college, and my father had served in the Navy, so I decided to uh, join the Navy and get some experience and kind of figure out what I wanted to do with my life. That was 26 years ago, and I never would have imagined I'd be here today, but I'm still here and still loving it every day. My role as a commanding officer is ultimately I'm responsible for everything that occurs on the ship, uh, and I'm responsible for all the sailors on board the ship too. So that's quite a bit of responsibility, uh, but it's a very exciting challenge every day. Uh, yes. So in those responsibilities, I'm responsible for, for training the crew uh, with the years of experience, about 16 years of experience that I have now in the submarine force uh, through the variety of different mission sets that we do. And then also looking out for their health, morale, and welfare as well. So um, that's kind of the key, I think, to what guides my leadership style. Uh, I want to create a culture here where everybody's enjoying their job, enjoying being in the Navy, and even if they decide that they don't want to stay for a long time, they still take the most out of it that they can. So the capabilities of PCU South Dakota, it's the 17th and newest Virginia-class submarine in the fleet. Uh, very capable platform uh, covering a wide variety of the uh, uh, U.S. Navy uh, warfighting areas, including uh, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, strike warfare, uh, as well as some other areas such as mine countermeasure, mine interdiction warfare. So we're, we're a very capable platform. We can deliver both the uh, Mark 48 uh, heavyweight torpedo as well as the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile. Uh, so that uh, those are the weapons platforms that we can deliver. So the the primary role of the submarine force in general and PCU South Dakota as well is to really stay forward deployed undetected, be on scene unseen and be ready to deliver uh, uh, war fighting capability when we need to. Inconsistencies between movies and submarines. I think the biggest one that I would say, the biggest inconsistency between what the movies have and, and what we actually do here is, in general, Hollywood depicts it as a, as a one-guy effort, and that is absolutely not the way the, the United States Submarine Force works, and certainly not here on PCU South Dakota. It's a team effort every day. Uh, we rely on each other, we train together, we, we eat together, we sleep five feet from each other. So we really rely on that teamwork and camaraderie to uh, make the ship successful. The kind of person that makes a good Submariner is uh, a dedicated and driven person who's uh, open and honest and not afraid, not afraid to admit their own mistakes uh, and, and really driven to learn how to correct those mistakes. That's what makes all of us so successful. So my experiences in the Navy uh, up to this point have really taught me the importance of, of patience and being calm under pressure and how that impacts uh, the, the crew members around you. They, they really look to a leader who can maintain calm under high stress situations uh, and still deliver the actions that are required to, to fight the ship or to uh, combat casualties on board the ship. Our culinary specialists in the submarine force are, are incredible uh, sailors and certainly the ones here on PCU South Dakota are, are just phenomenal. Um, they are, I think people underestimate their importance on board the ship um, because they truly do uh, directly relate to the morale and, and welfare of the crew. Not only are, do we need to provide healthy meals for the crew, but we also need to provide food that everybody enjoys eating. So we, we can be underway for a very long period of time uh, and, and just the service that we get, and those guys are always happy and smiling and, and ready to greet you with a smile even when you're having a bad day, and then serve you a hot, delicious meal on top of that. It's very underestimated. I would tell you we have one of the best restaurants in the world right here. Uh, pizza night on a submarine is, is great. So routinely we have pizza night every Saturday night to kind of sig signify the end of our, our week of training and, and operations. And then traditionally we always have submarine the night before we pull into a port as well, just to uh, get back into that uh, feeling of, hey, we're going to be on land for a while and get to enjoy life. Sweet. I think my favorite sea story is, uh, is an interesting one that, that I obtained through uh, doing uh, Arctic operations on uh, ISEX 2014. So at the time I was serving as the EXO of USS New Mexico, uh, which means I had a different sleep cycle than the rest of the crew. So about two o'clock in the morning, I was one of very few individuals that was actually awake, and I had the opportunity to go topside and, and be on the Arctic ice pack by myself, uh, which was an incredible experience and uh, still a story that I, I tell my family all the time because you can't estimate the, the silence that's up there and the beauty that's up there. And even though it's two o'clock in the morning, it's still bright daylight. So that, that was a really awesome experience. Oh, that's terrific.